Performance and Analysis of Variance Using SPSS. I have my data set pulled up here. We're going to go Analyze, Compare Means, and select One Way ANOVA. I have my variables already selected. I have beats per minute in the dependent list, and I have my group in the factor. We're going to perform a couple of additional tests here. We're going to select Options, and we're going to test for homogeneity of variance. There are a couple of assumptions that are required um, in the analysis of variance. One is that you have a normal distribution, and the other is that your groups are homogeneous. So we're going to test for this. We're also going to do a couple of post hoc tests. We have the um, LSD and Bonferroni tests selected here. We're going to click Continue and click OK. And we have our output. The first output is the test for homogeneity of variances. And um, what we're looking for here in the significance is um, if this number is less than 0.05, then this test does not pass for homogeneity of variances, and we must proceed with a non-parametric test. But in this case, the number is not less than 0.05, so we can proceed with the ANOVA. The ANOVA, unlike a t-test, which is only comparing two groups, an ANOVA is comparing multiple groups. So the first level is just simply, was there a difference among these groups? Without saying specifically where the difference is. We have a significance value here expressed in SPSS of 0 0.000, which is clearly less than 0 0.05. So we do have a significant difference among these groups. Now the post hoc test will help us determine where those differences are. What you'll see here is you have two different post hoc tests, LSD and Bonferroni. And what they're both doing is they're going to go through each individual combination. So we have three, three different variables here, or groups. We have, uh, it's going to compare pets to friend. It's going to compare um, um, uh, pets to neither. And then it's going to go um, friend to pets and friend to neither, and so forth and so on. And what we're looking for here in the significance, again, if we have a value of um, less than 0.05, then we have a significant difference between each of these groups. So that's a um, one-way test uh, analysis of variance using SPSS.